But um, you talked about doing content creation. So did you, after you came, came out of rehab, is that when it started or like when TikTok came pretty popular? Like when, when did you realize like, Hey, I want to possibly get into this kind of space? Yeah. So that's a great question. Um, you know, I got out, uh, of the rehab thing and just didn't know what I was going to do. You know, at the time I was, uh, fortunate that I had, you know, my parents that were supportive and, and, allowed me to just go back to their place for a little bit, catch my breath, figure out what, what I wanted to do next. And I owned a house at the time and this was, you know, 2022. So not, mm -hmm. you know, real estate's doing really good at the time. Um, and I decided to put the house on the market and sell it and it did well. And it, it allowed me to kind of pay off any debts I had. And then also had some money where it was like, all right, there's no pressure here for me to just rush into another job. You know, I was unhappy with some of the office jobs I had done. I mean, I enjoyed it at first, but got burnt out real fast. Just kind of wanted something a little bit more exciting, something more I was passionate about. So during that time that I've got a little bit of comfort room there with the, the money from the selling of the house, I decided to kind of start just having fun making some comedy stuff. I was always into comedy, always considered the funny guy, always liked making people laugh from a young age, you know, till now. And so I got on TikTok. I had an account on TikTok before that, but wasn't super active with making stuff on it. And I was like, all right, I'm going to kind of figure this out and start playing around with it. So I did and started to have some success. You know, I had some, some people like a lot of the stuff. I started kind of, I think the first thing that hit was like the single mom stuff that I do, like uh, trying to get the single mom next door to notice me and like <laughs> yep, yep. all these just comedic <laughs> thirst trap style stuff, you know, so once that kind of had success, I was like, all right, people, people, you know, like, like what I'm putting out. Let me go a little further, see if I can do some sketch type comedy and see if they like that. And they did. And so I was kind of just doing it around stuff that I was involved in at the time. So pickleball was a big one, getting back in shape. You know, that's where the CrossFit and the fitness stuff came from, trying to get back in shape after being out of shape. You know, I was just kind of choosing things I was doing and sort of poking fun at myself and then found that people could relate to it because they were in the same boat or knew someone in the same boat or whatever. So just sort of took off from there. Yeah. And so do you, when you were doing that, started the content creating, uh, so did you decide, do you like filming like every single day or did you have like a set thing? Do you like, did you brainstorm most of the time before doing those skits or like, was it kind of like, Oh, like last minute, like, Oh, okay. This would be a great idea. Let's, let's do it. Yeah, so on TikTok at the time, what I was reading and hearing uh, was that you should post about four times a day to make, mm. to try to get something to jump off. And now that could be a quick 15 second trend type video that you just do your own take on a trend, or it could be this, or it could be that. So for a little while, I was trying to hammer that and just put them out there until the single mom stuff took. And I'd kind of, with the single mom stuff, I just sort of, it was my own thing. I, I took a twist off something, you know, it wasn't even, you, you see maybe some similar type stuff, but not really, you know, I just kind of decided to do it one day and thought it was funny. And sure enough, it, it worked. But uh, then I kind of, as I started getting longer form sketch stuff and all that, I found that I was like, all right, I'm not doing more than one a day. I don't want, you know, I'm going to do just one longer form sketch here and see if that works. And then, once they started to do well and kind of take off, it was like I would literally just sort of think that day of what, you know, it was like an in the moment thing. Like, all right, what do I want to do today? You know, I want to do something on fitness or I want to do this and then go out there and start kind of shooting it. And as I was shooting it, it would just sort of turn into what it was turning into. Yeah. I've, I've heard so many people that are like, oh, you, I, you need to post like three times a day. And I'm like, who has the, like, who has the yeah. time to do three videos a day? I mean, like I was working at the time, like, and it's, maybe one if that like and yeah. it's like not everyone wants to see me lifting weights or like doing my podcast or anything like that so it's just like uh you know that's kind of hard. hard yeah especially and with it, a job i was fortunate to not have a job so i had the time to kind of do it but even still man it just more than once is a lot to ask of anybody I think. yeah yeah <laughs> it's crazy but um while while you're on tiktok and slowly growing that um that space so did you have any people that you were like looking on tiktok or even youtube or any other platform that kind of was a, a big inspiration for you to kind of get into that space yeah you know there was um i kind of discovered more 
more content creators that I liked as I started doing it. Um, you know, w- with TikTok, it's it's easier, I guess, because you can just scroll. All you're doing is scrolling constantly. It's not yeah. like Instagram as much. Uh, it's just constant scrolling. And so you're just coming across these videos, right? And you're seeing all these different videos of people. And I, what I would do is notice which ones were being very successful, um, how they were shot, and just kind of learning that way, you know, like looking at the quality of the video that they were putting out, looking at the audio, maybe, you know, why did this video do, do so well versus this one? And, and learning through that process and then taking it and kind of, making forming it for what i wanted to do right Mm -hmm. yeah so i think that was the best way especially being new to kind of learn how to do it yeah have have you repurposed your your content to go into youtube at all through the youtube shorts yeah so i'll i'll repost a lot of times for the shorts you know i want to kind of part of my goal for 2024 at least has been trying to get more serious about youtube and i just i want to figure out kind of what to do because as you know i mean youtube is it's a whole different beast, right? I mean, the shorts are good, but people aren't going to YouTube for, for the shorts. They're going yeah. really because you can watch all kinds of stuff on YouTube. Movies, you know? Yep, yep. So I, I want to do a better job of that. I started throwing stuff on on uh, on YouTube that I make on Instagram and TikTok just to try to get some subscribers going on YouTube and get a little bit of traffic going on YouTube. So I'm going to keep doing that until I figure out, I think, what I want to do with uh, with my YouTube channel for sure. Yeah, so I I try to post one short every single day for s- at least six to seven days, and so I've noticed um, I've I've have two two videos that have gone over a million. Dang, that's awesome! And and it's crazy because like one of them I'm not even in it, and it's just like some dude from TikTok that I follow. He did a he did like a heavy clean, and he rolled backwards, and he was on one of those ra- like um like those elevated platforms with like the gap in between and the bar went over then fell in the gap. And so he got Ooh. his neck, neck stuck on there. And so that was one of them that actually just went to the moon. And then there was another one where I, I, I think I was, I was on my dock and this kid tried to do a clean and jerk and he like, he jerked it, but he was like off balance. Mm-hmm. And so I said, what would you do in this situation? And then like he, he dropped the bar and literally almost hit his head, but I'm like, Ooh, and it just shot skyrocketed to like, 1.2 million like views Dang. and i'm like how is and then like i do some other ones and i'm barely getting like four thousand a thousand so my my goal for me is like just to get over a thousand views yeah you know and, I, and, I'll, and i'll be happy so but it's like or even a couple subscribers the main thing is just like the views and subscribers yeah yeah youtube is such a different beat i mean all the platforms are that way man like I always tell people all the time that are really successful on Instagram and they're not successful on TikTok or they're because my my TikTok has slowed down a little bit because I've been so focused on Instagram. But yeah, but I, when I was doing TikTok and having success on TikTok, I wasn't focused on Instagram and then yeah. Instagram started doing well. So I became focused on Instagram. So it's like you really have to watch these platforms like for those listening that are interested in this. In my experience, it's like watch each platform separately you know like if i want to find success on youtube i'm going to find a page that is kind of got the vibe that i like and similar to what how i would plan to shoot and edit my stuff and put you know and then not copy by any means but just use that you know look at that as as kind of an outline and then take yeah. it and, and replicate it into my own you know original type content and just let it fit and find stuff from other channels and pull it together and make it into something that works. So it takes a lot of watching content too, I think to be good at it. Yeah. How how much content do you watch per day? Roughly, man, not much anymore, but when I started, I was always (laughs) constantly scrolling, but now it's like, because I have something that's, you know, I've got an audience watching, uh, the stuff that I'm putting out and, and, and liking kind of how, how I'm putting out these videos. I don't necessarily have to watch as much. I just don't have the time. But every now and then, you know, I'll just look to have fun and watch and everything. I'll see something and go, huh, I need to do something like that in the CrossFit space or something like that in the pickleball space or something, you know. So it's always good to consume a little bit, I think. Yeah, you should. You should. Well, I'm not telling you what to do, but maybe you should consider doing like a picky pickleball like meme video of you trying to move all your stuff like out of the apartment and take the pickleball like, you know, 
thing and hit the boxes out of the door or something like that. Just something, <laughs> yeah. something stupid. Or you could do yeah. like, or you can like clean boxes or something like that. Just like pick them up and clean them and like just throw them out the hallway for like that's a crossword right. thing. So <laughs> that's right. <laughs> 